money on LinkedIn, lots of times you expect a direct cause and effect. It's not that way. It's not, it's not immediate. It's one of those kind of things you build up a relationship. You publish links to your articles. You share words of wisdom. And over time, you are an expert. And you're considered an expert. And you start building a network. So it is not a direct cause and effect. It's going to take some time and investment in your time. And sometimes that's a leap of faith people are not willing to take. But I'm telling you, it works. So what we're going to talk about today, let me test this. All right, how about if I be the clicker? Oh, here. Yeah. An email about the Mike Tyson tattoo and trying it on. And that's hot, Alex. So I decided yeah, I'm, to I'm put that on him. Great, by the way. <laughs> if you see it like everywhere in social media, I don't know how that happens. Totally. <laughs> so anyway, I had card munch, and I press on card munch, and all of a sudden it says we've changed to Evernote. I'm like, oh no, I'm doing a presentation on that in two weeks. So it said, do you want to merge your contact? Yes! I want to merge contacts because I have two weeks to learn this new, new app. I use this all the time. When I come in and meet any of y'all and I get a stack of business cards, I go out to my car and I take a picture of those business cards. And immediately, I click a button that says connect on LinkedIn. So by the time I have left the parking lot, I have already connected to you on LinkedIn. That helps me remember who I met where. I can also put in the notes, like I just did a presentation for VSHMPR. I'm not even going to tell you what that stands for. And for everybody I met there, I was able to put in the notes, via, met at VSHMPR. And then I just copied and pasted it in each one. So this is what it looks like at the get-go when you open the app. So first, the first thing you do is you need to download the app from the App Store. I am not sure this is available Android. It is. It is? Okay. It is. Then it just probably, I think maybe when it merged, it came out. So at any rate, when you open it, this is kind of what it looks like. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make it so every card that you enter goes in your contacts list. If you don't want that, leave it the way it is because default, when you scan that business card, it will not go to your contacts. If you find that 10 cards in, you want them all to go, you can't retrofit those 10 that you scanned in already. I found that out about five cards in. I'm like, this isn't going to my contacts. So this is how you get there, settings, general, camera, business cards, turn on, save the contacts. I'm going to post this on the blog, a specific step-by-step -step on how to get it to save to your contacts. And it's a completely separate hand-holding PowerPoint. So I'll post that later today. First thing you want to do is you want to go to camera. Then you want to move camera from photo to business card. Then you take a picture. Now what I do like about it is you don't have to push a button. You hold it there and it kind of picks up the card and then all of a sudden, it populates all the information for you. Do proofread it. Some cards are wacky with funky typefaces, and it's really difficult to read. But I'd say 85% of the cards that I, that I scan in here go in just fine. Once the area is populated, you click the check mark at the bottom right-hand corner. Hit that, connect on LinkedIn. And it puts a little check mark and says invitation sent. Then you can either scan another card or hit done. I usually have other cards to scan. You edit, you just tap, and you go in there and you, you can edit. And sometimes you need to do that. Specifically, check things like email addresses and phone numbers. You scan dark cards on a light background light cards on a dark background and if there's like some of them are real shiny sometimes you kind of have to angle the camera and then you synchronize to all devices what I really love is I can click that notes at the top 
and then I get a list of everybody I've met in the order that I've met them. That is very helpful to me because then I have a chronological order in which I can remember everybody that I met. And then I get a profile from LinkedIn that, that is a face reminder. Their face will come up if they're on LinkedIn. I'd say about 95% of the people I scan in are in LinkedIn. So how Dave was saying earlier, people that you shake their hand, you immediately connect with. And they immediately connect back with you. Remember, it is, you're building a long-term relationship. In terms of LinkedIn advertising, you also have to remember that you have to pick a large enough pool of people. There are two types of advertising on LinkedIn. One is boosting or sponsoring updates from your business page, and the other is, is like an ad that runs on the side. It is really tough to get those clicks in LinkedIn. So if you've got a really small group that you want to advertise to, you're probably not going to get a lot of clicks. But who cares? If you're going to get 20,000 impressions and no clicks, that's branding. That's free branding. Go for it. Give it a shot. And many times they're going to send you a coupon for $50 off. Take that coupon, do a little experimenting. I think you have to have, what, 20,000 or 100,000 people in order to get enough impressions. To, and lots of times if you're picking CEOs in Richmond, Virginia, it's going to be a really small sample and it's going to tell you at the top that that's not enough people. So you keep having to add groups until you get enough people. And they do take a while to approve things if they have a really strict list of advertising words and it's not like Facebook that gets back to you right away. They can take several days. So I have one, I have a headline in one of our sponsored updates with the word prescription in it. Five days later, it's still not boosted. So, you know, abbreviations, if you put CEO in there, it might not show up. That might trigger some filter. So they have a lot of filters. But I do think that the sponsored updates is worthwhile, and that helps you get a lot of company followers. And I would say highly recommend that you also get your company page to link into your personal page. Also have a PowerPoint on that that I will post on our blog today. So if you go on our blog and it will say LinkedIn, Chesterfield Coffee Talk, PowerPoint, and then you can find which one you want to use to learn how to use the app. Highly recommend it. It's really kept me grounded, which if you ask Howard, is a good thing. And you know <laughs> I, I can't wait to see him with this new tattoo. Um, you got <clears throat> Does anybody have any questions? No, let's wait for questions at the end. Okay. Okay. 